Hello and welcome to this week's Torah Torah. In this week's Sera, we read a verse about an offering that is brought up that has a very, very profound message for us in our daily lives. It says, When you will bring a shlomim offering, when you bring a peace offering to God, you should bring it when you want to bring it and you should bring it with a happy and full heart. This is about the offering. But I think there's a message in here as well for us to take home. And that is, many a time you get into an argument with someone. And then when it comes to trying to resolve the argument, the question becomes how you're going to resolve it. When you're going to resolve it. What are you going to use to resolve it? And very often we begrudgingly resolve the argument, not because we want to resolve the argument, but rather because you just want to get out, you want to make peace, but you don't really agree. That sort of peace is not really peace. It's more like a ceasefire. If you want to make peace and you want to make lasting peace with people, the only way to really be able to make lasting peace with people is When you bring a peace offering to God, you have to bring it with full intentions and a happy heart and willingly. But the same applies also in our day-to-day lives. If you want to bring a peace offering, if you want to make peace with somebody else and offer him your hand and to shake his hand and to say, let's let be bygones be bygones. Let's just forget about the entire thing. The way to make peace, the way to have everlasting peace with other people is if you want to make peace. If you don't want to make peace, you might shake his hand. You might even be nice or civil to him. But really and honestly, you've not forgiven that person and you're not happy with the fact that you've made peace. This applies to political situations as we see it today in Israel, where if you don't really want to make peace, you can sign in a piece of paper and say, we're making peace. But really, that signature is almost not worth the paper that it's written on. It applies in marriage. If you apologize and don't really mean your apology, then what's your apology really worth? And it applies in almost any other area and aspect of your life. If you've decided to make peace, if you've decided now to let bygones be bygones and to try to make amends for what has happened, then do it fully. Do it with a full heart. With a full heart, willingly give it up. If you're not willing to make peace with a full heart, it's still better than not making peace. But you should know that's not really peace. You want to make peace. Peace is with a happy and full heart. Have a very good Shabbos and a very peaceful Shabbos.